The BBC has learned that 18 months after the government announced a £1 billion scheme to help tower block owners remove flammable cladding from their homes, funds so far have been allocated to less than a third of nearly 700 applications processed so far. The Building Safety Fund was one of the schemes set up in the wake of the Grenfell Tower tragedy, covering cladding of wood and other flammable laminates. But as Sarah Corker reports, in the few buildings where remedial work has begun, there are fresh problems. Imagine having to live inside this, your home wrapped in plastic sheeting for months on end, windows that barely open, no way to see out. Here are Sarah, middle of the day, no natural light. Jim lives on the first floor at Islington Gates here in Birmingham city centre. And this is the limited air we can get into the flat. This is the view for the next year that you've got. Yeah, 12 months of being depressed. There is relief that the combustible cladding is being removed, but government funding won't cover the full cost of almost £9 million. It means leaseholders need to find more than £1 million between them. That's at least £20,000 each. What's it like living in this box? You haven't got a clue what's happening outside. It, you, it, it affects you mentally, it makes you depressed, um, it makes you very stressed. Um, the stress is worse knowing you've got to pay for it and you've got to pay for the privilege of living in a dark, dull box. Uh, in my case, you know, £20,000. And I grind my teeth. You feel like you're suffocating. Just next door, Liz and Rodriguez are renting this one-bed flat. They not only have to cope with the building work, but there's a serious damp and mould problem too. It's horrible. I... I... I really hate living here now, to be honest with you, and uh, I feel embarrassed. I don't want to bring my friends here. I don't want to bring my family here because I've got a six-year-old niece who we absolutely adore, and I, I don't want her here because I don't want her to be breathing in the sort of same stuff that's making me feel so poorly. Liz says her asthma has been getting progressively worse. This is footage from a neighbouring flat. With the external cladding removed, this is what can happen when it rains. Hundreds of people here say they face a miserable winter living on a building site. And this is one street in one city. But across the country, we're going to be seeing much more of this in the months and years ahead. This tower in Ipswich has been like this for five months. It's a similar picture here in London. And these living conditions are worrying health professionals. They're stuck there with all the kind of stresses of the physical environment, the financial worries, and the uncertainty about when this is going to end. So we're going to see, I think, quite serious mental health issues. Back in the Midlands, the leaseholder board overseeing this work said it's monitoring issues closely to minimise discomfort. The government told us it's unacceptable people are facing these bills and building owners must make buildings safe without passing on costs. But for Jim and his neighbours, life behind the plastic is hard to bear. Sarah Corker, BBC News in Birmingham.